good morning everybody this is Lilla I'm just about to finish this this is my house of and I'll be happy to get it done because I don't like things sort of sitting around too long I've made a few changes I've stitched on everything pretty much some by hand this was the scissor pocket I couldn't find scissors at the right size so I put a tape measure in here so I'll leave that up to somebody to figure that out. Then I turned this into a little thread thing and I've got two little antique spools of thread there. Uh, yep. Cute. So that holds this, it'll hold any but that's just really for show. I sewed this on, this is for the pins and needles with a piece of tape measure. I haven't put needles here yet. And then I finished the pocket. It's got a little bit of elastic there. And here's one of the button cards I made. It goes this way. And that's the back of it. If you want to see the back. People like to see the back of things. Checking it out. That's what it is. Checking it out. And then I also have another button card I made, which is like this. It doesn't go in there. It's too big, but I'm going to add it to the package. Now, the last thing I have to do on this is I have to bind it. And binding it is a little bit problematic. Well, first of all, I don't have any bias binding that would go with it. I'd love to have had, but I don't. The only binding I could find was this red, it's old, with white dots. And uh, No, but I thought I'd show you that's, that's a reject. But you have to audition things sometimes. So then... Uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to make the binding by piecing these different fabrics because the fabrics are only five inches. Let me show you. Five inch squares because I bought them as charm squares, which are five inches. So now this is where the maths comes in. Okay. I hope I'm doing this right. I actually should be pretty good at maths. It's one of my favorites. All right, this measures almost 12 inches. See, like that, 11 and a half, I'm going to say 12. So 12 and 12, 24. Then this measures almost six, five and a half, six. So six and six are 12. So now I've got 12, 12, 12. What does that come to? 36. Okay, now, this is the problem. The charm squares are only five inches wide, or long, or wide, whichever. They're five inch squares. And I didn't want to um, make a big deal of being precise about putting them together. I didn't have enough to put all one color, of course, because they come in a pack. So what I did was I've cut the right width that I like, which is two and a half inches. And, I've, I've, okay, so I've got five inches. I've got 36 inches here. Now what do I do? I've got to allow for sewing seams to make them into one big long strip. So that comes, if I did that, it'd be more than a yard, more than 36 inches. So what if I go to 42 inches, which gives me seven five inch lengths. I'm going to see how that is. I do have a, a little extra sitting here on hand. So, <laughs> I know it sounds... I don't know whether I know what I'm talking about, actually. But once I sew it all together, you see there'll be... It'll be sewn like so. I'll sew a little seam, and that'll take up a little bit of the, the last piece, which is another five inches. And I'm wondering if that'll be enough... It may not be. That takes me to 42 inches because I've got seven pieces of five inches. So I've got a little bit extra on hand, but I think I don't want to cut every all of the last few pieces. So what I thought I would do is I'll go ahead and I'll stitch these. Then I'll put them around because you do have to go around the corners when you're putting the binding on. And the way I'm going to put the binding on is... I'll do that in the next video, I think. Is um, I'm going to fold these in half. 
press them and then I'm going to stitch them to the inside fold them over to the back which will look kind of like that you might say fold it over and I'm going to hand stitch or I call it whipping I'm going to whip all those I feel like that's the easiest thing to do I don't like all the machines it's supposed to be this is actually supposed to be handmade and um, slow stitch well it sure is slow stitch because I've been slow so I'm going to go ahead I hope you can make sense of what I'm saying I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to go and sew these together into one long 42 inch uh, strip I'll come back and I'll sew the iron them I should say I'm going to put the iron up. I'm going to iron them in half and then start to apply them so I'll do that for the next video anyhow I'm also going to do a video on how I make uh, button cards all kinds all kinds of button cards so I've been finding some bits and pieces that might work got an old card here like this it says two I'm going to make this into a button card not quite sure how I'm going to do that but anyway that's going to be one and then I also found a piece of airmail looks like airmail um the front of an email letter really back in the old days when it used to say par avion and so I'm going to make this into a button card because it's already got a couple of circles there so that's what I'm going to work on the next one will be putting this on all this stuff and then getting it all ready and I'll come back and show you where I'm up to because I think that you've looked at me long enough chatting away you know, all is well here I couldn't remember what day of the week it was found out it's Tuesday I thought it was Sunday <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me I had to go and look online to see what day it was so um, anyway no, I've got my buttons here if I need to put any more buttons oh the only other thing I put on before I close this is I did put on some yo-yo so I put one there and I put one there and I don't want to go and buy s some extra scissors I've got little scissors little embroidery scissors but I don't like the look of those with this I need something more a little bit more rustic so there so there it is and then by the way this is a military button here and I think I showed you the, the date the first world war the great war 1940 it began so it was actually from 1914 to 1918 I remember it well okay thank you for watching this is Lilla in Hawaii goodbye